Hi, Jeff Miloshek with Bailing Country, here with my friend Clarissa. Today we're going to talk about how to properly choose and install the right corral panel for your country lifestyle, whether it be for arenas, round pins, catch pins, or stalls. At Bailing Country we offer over 11 different corral panels, starting off with our entry level panel you see here, which is our promo panel. This is a 20 gauge panel that we use out in the end of the pastures if you need to fill a 40 foot hole or you have a very large open area where you're not going to have any animals bumping up against it. Now I notice it has a J-leg. What's the difference between the J-leg and a straight leg panel? The J-leg we use on about 90% of our panels. That allows the panel to slide over the ground easier when you're moving them around if you're by yourself and it also doesn't allow it to sink in the ground as much. And I see this has the same pin connections as all the other panels? This is our same form rod connector we use on our heaviest panels all the way down to our entry level panel. Now say you had an animal that did push up against the panel. Which one would you want to use for that? We're going to have to go with our stock guard corral panel, which is this panel right here. This is an all 16 gauge versus a 20 gauge panel that you've seen in our entry level. It's going to be about double the weight of that panel in the same length. This one has a square corner design. It's 16 gauge and it's still the 60 inches tall. Now I see it has a square corner. What's the difference between square corner and round corner? The square corner is going to give you a lot more safety. If an animal ever does get up on top, it's harder for them to get a leg in between the two connections. If you have a round corner, it creates a funnel and that animal can get caught in between. Is there any difference in color? No, there's no difference in color at all. If it's a stock guard crowd panel that's 16 gauge, whether it's red, green, or gray, it's the same panel. Now, if you needed a panel where an animal could push up against it, say in a stockyard, which one would you want to use? If you're going to have a situation where you have animals pushing up against panels all the time, whether it's in a feedlot or something you want a little bit higher, you're going to go up to this panel here. This one's 66 inches tall versus 60 inches tall. uses the same four rod connectors that we've seen before on the other panels, and we use a little bit stronger brace on this one. This is a stamp brace that gives you a lot more strength that the animals are hitting it. You'll also notice that this is two-inch diameter tubing versus the other ones at inch and five-eighths. It's 16 gauge so it's going to give you a lot of strength. Okay. This panel we're looking at here is our most economical horse panel. We call this our horse country panel. It's a full 64 inches tall. It's a lighter 20 gauge with the pin together hookups. Now are these the same pin connections as all the other panels? Yeah this is our same form rod connector we use on our lightest panels all the way to our heaviest panels. Now I notice that the brace is on one side. Why is that? That's another horse feature we build into our panels. It's a 14 gauge brace that's on one side. So if you're setting up your round pin, you want to have that brace on the outside of the round pin. So if a case a horse rubs around there, you got a nice smooth finish on the inside of the round pin. What kind of paint is on this panel? It's actually a powder coat finish. We put on a powder that's made out of polyester, apply it in our factory, and then we bake it on at 400 degrees to give you a nice durable, shiny finish that's going to last for years. Are there any other finishes? There is. We have a pre-galvanized panel right over here. We buy this tubing that's already been galvanized, we weld it up, and then we put a zinc rich primer on all the welds to help seal that up. Now I see it has a different connection. Why is that? That's just a matter of preference. Some people want a chain together connection versus a pin together connection. If I had a little rowdier horse, which panel would I want to use? Well, we'd want to go with our training panel, which is this panel right over here. This one's six foot tall uses two inch diameter tubing, and it has five rails. Why does it only have five rails? Five rails, if you're using this in a round pin, when your animal's getting worked hard, if it slips, it's got a lot more room to slide underneath there versus a lower bottom rail. Now I see it again has another brace, why is that? We use a coat brace on this where we actually cut out the tubing and weld it. It adds a lot more strength if the animal hits the middle of the panel, and it's a lot safer because there's nowhere to get hung up with a halter or lead rope. Okay. 